Hello guys and welcome to my second, ooh sorry, just trying to make sure that my hand is in frame, my second ever pick a card reading. Hello. Now we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. If you've done a pick a card reading before, go ahead and scroll down to the comment section and we can get started on your reading. If this is my first time introducing you to a pick a card reading, um, I just want to say hi, thank you for coming to my page and checking me out. Um, if you like me, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, uh, comment which pile you were, and let me know. I would love to send you some love back. Um, so what a pick a card reading is, is a psychic reading. What you're going to want to do is take a few deep mindful breaths and let your intuition guide you, and you're going to pick one of these three piles. One two, or three. You can pause this video now, or if one of the numbers just instantly came to your mind, go ahead and scroll down and I will leave the timestamps in the comment section. Now, I know you might be worried that there's no way that this could be for me, or you might get caught up in which pile to pick. There is no wrong answer. Whichever pile you pick will be the correct answer. Now, if you don't feel that any of these messages fit for you, then maybe I might not be your therapist. I might not be your uh, fortune teller, your psychic reader, your spiritual explorer. Um, and that is totally fine. I appreciate you coming to learn about me for a few minutes an hour, however long you decide to stay. Um, but if you're ready, we're going to be talking about the energy of the Virgo full moon, which is you are good enough. So go ahead and make your card selection and let's dive deeper into this. I'll see you guys soon. Hello, my pile ones. How are we doing today? My name is Brianna. And this your card spread, pile one. I have filmed this three times, but I feel like the third time's the charm because I got so much to say that I only want to tell you very important things. Um, so first and foremost, we have the Ten of Wands, and we have the High Priestess second, and then we have your two self-care cards and the Priestess in your affirmation, which we will do last. But this full moon in Virgo, the bottom line theme is you are good enough. So always keep that in mind as we're doing this reading. With the Ten of Wands, I see that you are carrying extra burdens. Burdens that are not, not yours to carry. Not yours to hold. Maybe you have a sick relative and you feel like you have to take care of this person. No. Unless it's like your child or your spouse, I'm talking about like your grandma or your aunt or uncle or cousin. They're sick and you feel like you have to help them or your friend is having or going through a really hard time and you feel like you have to pick up their slack, you have to pick up their pace, you have to help them. And I'm not saying be a bad friend. What I'm saying is that you are such a caring and passionate person and I see that with the high priestess that you feel like you need to carry everyone's burden. You feel like you have to care so much and nurture everyone because if you don't, are you really being your best self? Are you really being your highest self? Are you worthy of feeling like you have all your work completed if you don't take care of everyone's problem? You are good enough. These people have burdens or sicknesses or problems that they need to handle their own. And I'm not saying that's going to make you a bad friend. What I'm saying is you cannot fix everyone's problems. Unless you are the divine feminine or God, you cannot fix everyone's ailments in their life. This high priestess card is telling you to slow down. Slow down. Take some time for yourself. What is your intuition, the higher power, the all-knowing, trying to show you, trying to tell you, trying to teach you? 
what wisdom are they trying or yeah what wisdom are they trying to um pass down onto you maybe you get um informational downloads but this is like uh, slowing down and allowing um yourself to just go back into your flow and just be your compassionate empathetic self with your inner wisdom you already know that you are good enough you already know that you deserve to feel accomplished. Stop carrying everybody else's weight on your back. I know your back hurts. I know your knees hurt. I know you're tired. I know you're tired of being tired. Really take the time to slow down. Connect with your intuition. Connect with your highest self. See what it is that your intuition, the all-knowing, your subconscious mind is trying to show you, trying to teach you. Now with these two cards, these are like the best ways to get back into your flow, to slow down, take that time for yourself. So first we have spend time with your friends. Now I'm not talking about like going out to a bar. Um, or anything like that. What I'm talking about is like maybe invite two or three of your closest friends, your very, very, very best friends only type of deal, and just connect with one another. Do a self care day where you do hair masks and face masks and journal together. Talk about your goals, talk about your dreams, talk about why you're doing all this, talk about what it is that is really making you feel like you have to carry everyone's burden and it's because you feel like if you don't you're not good enough you're not worthy to receive love but that is not true you are so worthy you're so worthy of all the love you want in your life you are so deserving of feeling like you can accomplish things because you can i know you we're all in the same collective we're all one consciousness i know that you are so worthy of the love and the patience, and the empathy, and the nurturing, and the caretaking that you give everybody else. You deserve that for yourself. And your second self-care card is clean your space. This is such, like you see that Virgo theme right there? Virgos most definitely like to have everything in order. I'm a Virgo myself, and like random things in my room are very, very organized. Like, even if it's chaotic organization, it's still organization. That is some Virgo energy right here. Clean your space. Tennessee, where I am at, just had a tornado in Nashville. Use this as a time to donate your clothes to people in need. I will send, um, sorry, I will post a link down below um, that you can send all your unwanted clothes to. Uh, food, water, uh, we just got hit on Tuesday, it's, it's pretty rough, but um, clean your space, clean your room, open a window, I know spring is uh, like right around the corner, we have daylight savings tomorrow, um, but for this full moon, put yourself in that full moon energy and clean your space, allow new energy to come in, allow this divine feminine energy to come in and really nourish your soul. And your affirmation that I have for you, pile one. Your affirmation is the pile one, this beautiful butterfly that you chose. Nothing is impossible for the heart. Love will always find a way. You are good enough for love. I'm going to read that one more time for the good time. Nothing is impossible for the heart. Love will always find a way. This is a beautiful reading, Pile One. I hope you remember that you're worthy. You are deserving of so much love and all your manifestations coming to fruition. You're so worthy for all the abundance that you're searching for that is already yours. I hope you know that you are good enough, and I will see you in the next video. Have a blessed day. Hello, Group Two. 
how are we doing? Let me tell you how we're doing. Based on this, if you're not already doing awesome, you're going to be doing awesome. So first we have the Daughter of Swords, then we have the Mother of Cups, we have your self-care cards, the theme already, this is going to be in every pile, it's the full moon in Virgo, and it says you are good enough. This is the overall theme, and this is like more specific to you. And then this is your affirmation. This is the reason why you selected this card. This is how the card goes. So that you picked it like that. Look at it. So beautiful. She's doing her own thing. We'll get to her last. So, let's get started on your reading. For the Page of Swords. This Mercury retrograde is getting me. Good Lord. Okay, Daughter of Swords. As I was trying to say, this is all about using your head, thinking before you speak, um, allowing yourself not, not to get into petty gossip because you are above that. And that kind of has karmic energy attached to it. We don't want any of that. You see these little lights here? And it's in here too, like all over. This is like your spirit guides almost letting you know, hey, we're with you. Like, here are some great ideas. Here are some great inspirations that you could really use. This is about you needing to be patient with yourself so these ideas can come into fruition. And I get it. You're super curious. You're super wise. Like, and you are also quick-witted. But, like, be patient. You don't want to rush the fruit before it's ready to be picked right? This is also about being truthful and direct. Like I know um, I did talk about being patient, but if you're like waiting for someone to come around and tell you their feelings, this is not it. Like you need to be upfront about it. You need to be like, yo, this is how I feel. This is what I want. And I have been more than patient enough with you. And I will continue to be patient if you think that this is something that you genuinely want. But I cannot sit around and just wait for you to stop toying with me. Um, I'm definitely getting some like uh, Libra or um, Gemini vibes, especially with like the communication ruled by Mercury. Uh, <clears throat> and I'm also definitely seeing some like uh, Aquarian vibes because you're super quick witted. Um, but be truthful, be direct. But also think before you speak. I I know you're so quick with it, but you don't want to say something that you didn't like give yourself time to think through and give yourself bad karmic energy. Um we don't want that. No 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 no. It's 2020. We're only speaking positivity and manifesting beautifulness into our lives. Um this is also like an omen to not get into any petty drama. Now, with the Mother of Cups here, this is, like I said before, the Queen of Cups. With this, I see that you are definitely, definitely, definitely a very caring, emotional, uh, emotionally stable as well, like really emotionally mature person. Uh, your intuition is consistently evolving for the better, and you are someone who really is just like, unmatchable with energy when you're in flow and I see that this full moon uh, in Virgo is definitely going to be bringing you a lot of those in flow moments and this is something that you thrive in this is all about like we're gonna get to these cards but this is also like taking that extra time for your self-care uh, this is letting me know like both of these like bird energies are showing you that you're very creative and you know how to like still be yourself no matter the surrounding energies. And I feel like if you haven't been feeling like that lately, this full moon in Virgo is definitely going to be showing you that you are good enough to be yourself. You are good enough to be emotional and quick-witted and creative and intuitive and emotional enough to where you inspire other people to be more in tune with their emotions. Now, as we get to these self-care cards, these cards will show you more ways or like help you get into that full moon and Virgo energy quicker. Um, 
of like being creative and quick-witted with these cards here and like reassuring you that you are good enough. Uh, these self-care cards are just like little things you can do to help bring all this energy together uh, for your full moon in Virgo. So we have nourish your temple. Yes, queen or king, whatever you identify as. Yes. Nourish your temple, your body. Yes. To me, what this means is be more conscious of the food that you're putting in. Get rid of foods that feel good for right now, but don't feel good later. Really spend time with yourself. Don't be afraid to give love to yourself. Don't be afraid to even, you can't see it, but I'm hugging myself. Don't be afraid to do that because you're worth it. You're good enough. Your body is beautiful. Your body is amazing. You have legs that get you to and from. You have arms that extend out so you can grab the ones you love with your hands. You have shoulders that help your neck keep your head up high. Your temple is always, always, always going to hold your soul. This is your spaceship. This is what is help, helping guide you through this consciousness. This is a beautiful. Be sure that you are giving that extra love to yourself. And then we have use your hands. Let me show you these cards. Ooh, move back. Use your hands. In the picture, she's doing pottery. But, and with this creative energy, this emotional energy that I'm seeing, I love it. Um, I kind of want to say, like, you might be a water sign with all the emotions, like, shining through on this card. Use your hands. Clay, Play-Doh, finger painting. Um, spring is right around the corner. Maybe plant some flowers. Really, like, dig your hands in the dirt. Connect with Mother Gaia. Mm, I love that. Maybe, um, I don't know if y'all have this where y'all are at, where you're currently watching this video. But if there's somewhere where you can do, like, hand molding, maybe take your child, if you have a child, or your parent that you really have been like meaning to connect with a lot more lately or maybe even someone your significant other or someone you want to get to know more and like do a hand molding together just really use your hands whether it be like you doing this together and nourishing your temple maybe give yourself a body massage massage your feet i know my feet are tired good lord yes spend extra time specifically with arts and crafts because it like I said, this creative energy, spend that time using your hands. See what you can And lastly, we have your affirmation. This is the reason why you chose this deck. This beautiful butterfly. So pretty. And this says, I am thankful for many things, and my gratitude attracts abundance into my life. I am thankful for many things. And my gratitude attracts abundance into my life. This has been your reading pile too. I hope you remember that you are good enough. You are an emotional, emotionally stable, not only that, but like emotionally aware person filled with so many beautiful ideas and creativity. You are good enough for all this gratitude. Um, Grad amplitude, what am I saying? Mercury retrograde, leave me alone with all this gratitude and abundance coming into your life. You are good enough. I will see you guys in the next reading. And I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your day. Bye. Oh, my beautiful pile three. How are we doing today? Y'all are actually the only, only pile that I've done that came out with three self-care cards. When I shuffle the cards, whatever falls out, I put it in that pile, and that's how we do this thing. The only pile that had self-care come out, so 
this Mercury retrograde, I'm assuming, has not been nice to you, has not been kind to you. Like, maybe you've been progressing in your relationship, but when you're alone and you have that alone time, oof, you've really been feeling that way. So let's get right into your reading. Now, pile three. Tell me, have you been betrayed? Or has someone gotten away with something that they shouldn't have? Or has someone been deceiving you? And because of that, are you afraid to reach potentials in relationships because you're scared you're going to get hurt again? That is exactly what I'm seeing. Now, the energy that this full moon in Virgo is bringing you is this moon in reverse card. We'll get there in one minute. But this card, the Seven of Swords, let me double check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. The Seven of Swords is really showing me, like, let me show you. You see how there's six swords up here, but then the fox is, like, hiding on this? Someone thought that they were cute and could be quick and pull one over on you. Someone's deceived you. Maybe it was in this Mercury retrograde, or maybe this is, like, some lingering energy that you've been holding on to, but someone has deceived you. And because of that, I see that you have been shut out. Like you're not allowing yourself almost like any of these fulfilling relationships that could come into your life because you're so scared you're going to get hurt. And the full moon in Virgo, this you are good enough energy is definitely like hardcore correlates with this moon in reverse. You see, with the moon in reverse, this is all about, like, letting go of all that fear. All those emotions that you have been holding up. Like, all that anxiety that you have been holding. Now, there might be some inner confusion. Like, some deep down confusion about who it is exactly that's been deceiving you. And don't you worry. I promise you, by the time this Mercury retrograde is over... It will be coming to the light. You will be seeing more clear now. Um, the moon is also about like that ethereal, um, ethereal state, like your dream state almost. So maybe your intuition and your dreams have been speaking a lot to you, just like in pile one. Um, now, this is about um, not lighting up your path correctly. Like in a normal arcana deck, there is, uh, sorry, a normal tarot deck, there is like two towers, and this is talking about, um, like, the path to higher consciousness, which would be between them. So with this, I see that you are becoming more aware, and like you're able to see people's true identity with you, and like, see how they are really trying to talk to you, and pull one over on you. This new I'm oh, sorry, this full moon in Virgo, this like showing you that you are good enough. It's going to happen when you communicate with someone and you're like, huh, for some reason, I can see you trying to pull a quick one over on me. This full moon in Virgo is going to be opening you up to all the, um, all the imposters. In your life. Imposters is such a weird word to me, but like it's going to be showing you who has been trying to play you, been trying to deceive you, been making you feel like you really can't trust anybody. And you will be coming out of that because you are good enough for all these relationships coming into your life. Now let's talk about these three one, two, three, mind, body, soul. These Three self-care cards so you can get more into this energy, this moon in reverse card. So first we have sing. I love this. Um, as soon as I said this, I don't know if you know this song, but it's called Motion by Emotional Oranges. I'll put a link in the um, description box. Such a feel-good song. Makes you want to dance and sing. It's my favorite song. I literally played it on repeat at least 20 times when I first heard it. So good. Sing at the top of your lungs. Sing in the shower. Sing so everyone can hear you. Sing on the way to work. Yes. Yes. Sing feel-good music. Sing music that makes you feel whole 
and beautiful and powerful. Next we have Reed. Yes. I love this energy so far. Read books that incite power in you. Like Tony Robbins, beautiful. Or a book like The Four Agreements or The Alchemist. Like, read something that feels really good to read. Stay clear of like low vibrational material. Like a super, excuse me, super, super like heavy violence or um, anything like that we want to stay clear of. But reading is really good, taking some time for yourself. And this last pleasure. I love this. Let me show you these three cards up close. Read, sing, pleasure, honey. Do I really need to tell you? Pleasure, exactly what it sounds like. Go do your thing. And if you don't have anyone to go do your thing with, you don't need anybody to go do your thing with. You got yourself. You are good enough for that. You're worthy of that. Shoot, you do not need anybody else but yourself for this. Pleasure. Yes. My dude, it seems like it's been a long time since you've had that release of all this energy. You need it. Honey. And last, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why you chose this day the beautiful affirmation that I have for you to say for this full moon in Virgo that starts on Monday. The universe has something very special in store for me. Yes, I'm gonna say that one more time just to make sure you heard me. The universe has something very special in store for me. Thank you guys. Thank you, Pile 3. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Leave a thumbs up. Let me know if you enjoyed this reading. Tell me what part resonated most with you. I hope you never forget that you are good enough. I hope you let this energy leave. I hope you let this energy come in. I hope you find time to sing and read and find pleasure because you are good enough. You are worthy. You are loved. And I hope that you have a beautiful, magical, manifestation-filled full moon in Virgo. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed rest of your day. Mwah.